Fordham winners over St. Joseph's in the regular season finale, 67-45. And the star from the opening tip was Bree Cavanaugh joins us courtside now. Bree, 30 points. You scored the first 12 for your team. When did it become clear to you this was going to be a good day? Um, I think it came clear to me when uh, I went. I looked at the bench and Val was like, today's your day. And I was like, I guess today is my day. But um, honestly, just, you know, putting up extra shots with coach and uh, obviously I wouldn't have 30 without my teammates you know obviously I have to have the ball pass me or whatever so just thankful for my teammates so I'm willing to trust me and uh, pass me the ball. Bree hit that off balance shot from the wing from three would you say that's your favorite shot? <laughs> no uh, it was off balance but, uh, <laughs> but it went in so uh, that's all that's all that counts. Bree describe your candidacy for Atlantic 10 player of the year because I think many expect you deserve an honor like that. Um, I mean we'll see I mean I you, can't make any, uh, can't make any uh, promises or assumptions because, uh, you know, last two years, but uh, we'll see what happens. Bree, A-10 playoffs begin here on Tuesday night. How exciting is it, a chance to, to defend your crown? Hey, I mean, it's, it's, it's do or die. I mean, we got now, now it's uh, elimination station, so we got to make sure we come out like we came out today and uh, put it to most likely it's going to be St. Joe's, so we're going to play it again on Tuesday, so we got to make sure we do the little things. Um, play defense and uh, take it to them. I like that elimination station. <laughs> <laughs> she won't say it, so I will. A very likely finalist for A10 Player of the Year, Bree Cavanaugh. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Bree. Thank you. Bree Cavanaugh goes for a season high 30 points as Fordham 67 45 winners. Take a look at some uh, post game highlights. And, boy, Bree Cavanaugh got things going from the jump, didn't she? Yeah, look, I mean, you, you talk about coming out with a vengeance. She really, really took it to herself, upon herself, to put this team on her back. She was hitting shots early and often. She was finding her teammates. Played great defense as well, part of that performance for Fordham with a couple steals and a block. But I'll tell you what, just an all-around great performance by this team. The halftime buzzer beater there, the Carpell turnaround, the uh, – fadeaway shot from the wing from Kavanaugh. This was full of highlights and full of excitement. Stephanie V. Gately joins us from the sideline. Coach, you guys won the A-10 title in the tournament a year ago, went to the NCAA tournament, lost to Duquesne after that big win to Dayton. How does it feel to come back out and have a response like this? I mean, I thought it was great. I, th I was a little concerned after the first quarter because I just don't think we were locked in defensively, and I think we were lucky because Bree was really hot, but I don't think our defense was sharp. And then I think we settled in, played really good defense in the second quarter, and then uh, we're able to get our offense going a little bit. Coach, 17 steals. Are, are you happy, though, with the way that your team turned it around on defense after what we saw oh, against Duquesne? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, you know, last regular season game, you know, two years ago, St. Joe's came and beat us here, and, and our kids haven't forgotten that. that. That whole group is still with us, and so they haven't forgotten that. And they also that same year they knocked us out in the first round, so they haven't forgotten that either. You know, Coach, it seemed like the defensive turnaround came when DeWolf and Carpell got those – scoop and scores how important is that to change the dynamic of a game oh i mean that's a momentum changer i think anytime you can get, you can score off your defense it makes it makes a big big difference as far as momentum's concerned and i thought overall i mean sarah did a terrific job on jaycott and i thought we did a good job shutting them down coach how tough can it be for an opponent when they throw so much at brie and then anna dewolf turns around and just has the offensive performance the way she did today 16. i mean and again and you look at it and, and you've seen where kendall can light it up so i mean on this night anna stepped up when they took uh, you know brie away and you know kendall hit some you know shots and, and then you look at caitlin Downey had eight eight or nine assists so i mean it was just a great team effort steph brie cavanaugh was very uh kind about it a10 player of the year do you think that's brie's award uh, I'd be really shocked and honestly very upset if it's not her award. Fair enough. Coach, anyone you want to say hi to? I know this is part of our gig. <laughs> I, my, my mom's here, Susie, <laughs> H-Bomb, Tara, Jack, Valerie, Victoria, Scott, Courtney, and Coco is here. So go Rams. Thanks, Coach. Elimination Station coming up. <laughs> Stephanie Gailey joining us post-game here at the Rose Hill Gym.